Welcome back to the basement yard. Danny's on black on black today. Black on black on black. Go black, 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 black. I gotta be honest, that's a pretty flat brim you have there. Yeah, I know. It's also uh, the pups on there, as you can see. Is that actually your dog, or you found like a hat that sort of. No, somebody like... made it for me and sent it to me. Really? Yeah. How did. Would they embroider it? Yeah, it's a, a buddy of mine from uh, where I grew up. Oh, he embroidered. Yeah, he embroidered. Or embroider. Embroidered? Now you're making me self conscious about my flat hat. Why? No, it's a little flat, but it's a, it's like a skateboard hat. It's a five, five, four, five panel. It's got panels on it or something. Got some widespread. Got a good panel on it. Yeah, I don't know. I can't pull off those hats. No, I can't. I can't really either, but I just like it because big guy's on there. Yeah, because the dog's on there. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Anything else you want to fucking judge me on, Dad? You only have one chain on, which is surprising. Well, I mean, he, I, I've had a. I honestly just noticed that. I've right had now. a jewelry setback. Because what? here's the thing. If I'm going to be wearing a nice watch, do I need all the other glitz and glams? Okay. You know, so I dialed it back a little bit. So you're going one chain. One chain, but I might go. And no bracelets. And no bracelets. Look at that. I'm just growing up a little bit. Just growing up. So what'd you do with this stuff? I still have it. Like, I'll, like I'll wear it like, you know, on, play, like on nights where I'm not going to wear this. You mm-hmm. know? Hmm. Okay. Yeah. So I feel like it was too much. You were too- yeah, yeah. Like I was looking too like icy. Too icy. It was too frozen. And I don't mind it. Like I'll throw it all on at the same time. Yeah. Do you want to build a snowman? But other than that, it gets a little too crazy. I can't. I can't. I I, I want to be a little grown and sexy. <laughs> you know. Why you think jewelry doesn't make you grown and sexy? No, no, no. It does, but it's like you're trying a little too hard. If it's like yo Rolex, two or three chains. You know, I don't even have an album out. I can't be doing that type of shit. Yeah, you know, I guess and so. Two fucking 18 karat gold bracelets on at the same time. I love how you're just rattling off like all the stats right now. I'm just saying. Two 18 karat cost me an arm and a leg. Uh, no, no, no. It wasn't that bad. No, no. But uh, I'm surprised you really don't wear any jewelry. I know we talked about the watch a little bit like a, a, a little uh-huh. while ago. And I know at some point you think like, you know, you'll you'll get something. But I'm surprised you don't wear any jewelry, like a necklace or anything. Have you have you ever worn like a necklace or like? Yeah, I'll be honest with you. I wore those Livestrong brace, bracelets for. Oh mad yeah, hell yeah, long, man! Dude. They yeah. were hard. To, remember when they were like hard to get? That's one. That's why I kept rocking it. I had it for a while. I don't know what year that was, but I wore it like well past like any like. It was faded, like you didn't. Yeah, even, yeah. It was yeah. like white. They probably like cured a couple like cancers while while you did that. Probably. Can, yeah, can they, they cure? Didn't. Can they cure like certain cancers? No. I don't know anything about it. There's no cure to cancer currently. No, no, no. I know that. Unless you want to go into conspiracy and say, "Oh, they're oh, right. I'm, a, I'm a huge. I don't, I don't, I don't want to get assassinated. So I really, I really believe there is a. I really do believe there's a cure out there. You know, it's funny. My cousin's a sorry. Sci- my cousin's a scientist, and I like had said that as a joke, of being like. Oh, you know, because I've heard like conspiracy theorists say where it's like, oh, we definitely have a cure to cancer, but there's too much money in cancer. So, you know, blah, blah, blah. But he actually takes offense to that because he's in cancer research. And it's like, and don't don't undermine us. Basically. Right. He's saying like, dude, there's a whole field of people dedicated to like researching how to find the cure to cancer to assume that we have it and like we're just hiding it. Yeah. No, like, no, I, I understand that. But I, I'm more of like a... Uh... It's fun to make stuff up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I like I like being a conspiracy theorist from time to time. Okay. You know? Were you big on the whole 9-11 uh, thing? No, I was not. Do you remember when everyone was coming out with like, yo, you see the faces in the clouds? I was like, yeah. all right, what I the was fuck? Like, yeah. It's clouds. It's clouds. It's like, take it easy. Yeah. It's like, yo, there's evil faces in the clouds. I'm like, I do. this I wasn't do. a demon. This was a, a, a fucking And it's also a like, plane. And it's also like any, any conspiracy where like it involves like people dying. It's like where 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 are these people just hiding now? It's all tough. You want to hear some crazy? shit, You know, though? you want to hear some crazy? There's also shit? people out there that don't believe the Holocaust happened. Oh man, love that. That one's insane. I, I would love to meet someone who's actually that fucking stupid. Um, <laughs> there's this thing called the. I don't want to get it wrong. I want to say it was. Uh, yep, the Philadelphia Experiment. Are you familiar? No, with I'm this? not. Oh, you're gonna love this. I'll just I'll just read this. Okay. I don't know what it says because I just like it's the real quick. <laughs> Thing. I love how we got here from jewelry. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but listen, uh, the Philadelphia experiment, and you guys can do your own research after this, uh, is an alleged military experiment supposed to have been carried out by the U.S. Navy at the Philadelphia Naval Shipyard in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Gee, say a Philadelphia again. 
Yeah. Uh, sometime around October 28th, 1943, the U.S. Naval Destroyer Escort USS Eldridge was claimed to have been rendered invisible to enemy devices. They're coming for us now. Stop so, breathing. yeah, this, that was weird. <laughs> they heard me talking about it. Um, but, so basically what happened, uh, and again, this is all obviously a conspiracy, um, is that they had like a beat. Oh, man, you got to listen to my dad tell this story, too. It's just on fucking real. Is he like on Team Conspiracy? Oh, dude, my dad? Yeah. Dude. Oh, so I would love talking to him about this shit. My dad will think like regular humans walking around are aliens and shit. Like, he's, cra- he's crazy. Uh, I've literally watched him snap his phone in half and throw it into the sewer. Yeah. Like he's nuts, dude. My dad's like crazy. The go- he thought like the government was. Watching I don't. Him? I have. I really didn't even ask. It was just hilarious. I couldn't breathe. Um, but just to give you the 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 brunt of it, uh, apparently, I could be telling this wrong, but to my knowledge, uh, the the U.S. wanted to create this thing that was like to to make a sh- whole ship invisible, right? Okay. I don't know how they're going about this in 1943. Thinking big, though, at least. Oh, thinking <laughs> huge, dude. An invisible cloak? Dude, make Jesus. an invisible, like, yeah, make an invisible shirt first before you're going to go ship. Yeah, for God's God sakes. Um, make a two-way mirror. Was that invented in 1943? I, I, I don't think so. Uh, so what they did was, I guess, shot this, like, beam at the ship or something. Oh, my God. And apparently it disappeared. But then it reappeared. And some of the sailors were gone. We're halfway stuck in the walls. What? You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Like they half, they half made it in, half made it out. Yes. Because I don't know what the thing. Oh, man. I'm really thinking about calling my dad right now. Should I call him? Yeah. If, if he'll answer. Yeah. I, I, he, we'll, I'm sure he'll know more about it. All right. I'm going to call him. I just hope he doesn't say anything crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely be the first time fixed in post. Yeah. <laughs> We'll see what happens. But he knows about it, so I have to. That's crazy. Yeah. And this was in 1943, you said? Yeah. It's not that long ago. Dad. Yeah, what's up? Who's it? So it's it's Joey. <laughs> <laughs> so me and Danny are currently, you're live on the basement yard. But I just wanted, if you can please explain the Philadelphia experiment for people real quick. Yeah, but I'm sure accurate. I want me to tell you the story that goes around, but if they look it up... Yeah, and I, I don't know if it's accurate either. I, I just don't want to tell it wrong. Because I've extensively... But they go online to say... That the, Wait, Dad, your phone's all screwed up. What's going on here? I can't hear you. I'll call you from my home phone. All right, all right. <laughs> there we go. Uh, so, uh, cats they, they were of- already fucking, they were already fucking breaking into his phone right there. The government talked to cut him off. Cats out of the bag. My dad has a home phone still. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want me to tell you about that? By the way, I just called his flip phone. Yes. So that's just, you know, I love how he you. said, who is this? Yeah. You know, old people never store numbers in their phone. My dad knows everyone's number though. He's like a psycho like that. Like he, he knows every number. If he goes, what's the password? And it could be 15 digits. I tell him one time he's like, got it. And he knows it. And then he can get from here to, to China somehow. He just knows. It's it's strange. He's one of those guys. Yeah, I don't know how. He's an old school guy. He's an old school guy. So, I mean, I really don't want to fuck it up. So, so I, when you were saying they were half in the walls, were they alive? That I, that I'm not I'm not sure of. Because I think if you're in another dimension, you're half dead, right? Well, I think maybe the, like the ship melted and then came back to its original oh. form. And then, you know. That's fucking terrifying. Yeah, it's fucking scary. Hello. Hey, Dad. Yeah, I'm a, a little patient, dude. I just got home. I had to drain the veins. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, well, hurry your pee up because we need to know about this Philadelphia experiment. Uh, what happened was, uh, it, was, a, it, was, it, was a, it was a ray. The Germans called it a death ray. Tesla invented it in, like, 1920 or whatever, and the government was trying to perfect it to use it as a weapon. And what they did was they shot it at a battleship was up near Philadelphia. And it just, it, instead of, it was supposed to be working as a cloaking device. But what in fact happened is that the whole ship just disappeared and reappeared somewhere else, I think down in Virginia, but I'm not sure. And when it reappeared, a lot of the men were stuck in the walls 
in the decking. Of course, they were dead, but they were, they were, it was like everything became so transparent and so, I don't know what the word to use, cloud-like, who knows, that they were walking through walls, and when it reappeared, the walls solidified again, and they were stuck inside. If you go online, I saw it all on the History Channel, Discovery Channel, all that nonsense. If you go on YouTube, you can find it, uh, that story, but if you look it up, you know, according to the government, it never happened. Uh, it's all, you know, it's conspiracy theory, all this nonsense. The greatest word that ever came up for the government covert operations is conspiracy. Because nobody wants to be attached to that word. That's why no one will ever admit they were abducted by aliens or sorry UFO, whatever. So what do you think? You think it was a ray gun? Yes. And they, I uh, think Tesla invented it a hundred years ago. He invented that thing a hundred years ago. Absolutely. If you, if you want to look up something else, just to give you a harp, it, it, it's, uh, that's how they affect the weather. And you can it. look that up. They make the weather do whatever they want. And I know you don't believe that, but read that. The government actually admitted it in 2015 and said they wouldn't do it anymore, but they're still doing it. Wait, 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 wait. wait, 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 wait hold wait, up, hold wait. up. Wait, the government said that, yeah, we're controlling the weather. So I believe that. To clear up, whatever. It's a whole big nonsense, but it's, it's, it's definitely there, and the government admitted it five years ago. It's called the High Auroral Activity Research Program. What it is is high-frequency, like, microwaves that they shoot up into the ionosphere, and then it's a, there's a collector or whatever they do, I don't know, and that's how they're going to affect the weather. If you just look up, all you got to put in your computer is, does harp affect the weather? <laughs> That's incredible. That's crazy. Yes, it's true, and I know every one of your friends is probably like, boy, that guy's a real guy. I know why Joey's nuts, because his mom is nuts. <laughs> I believe it. Yeah. Call me anytime for guidance or advisement. I am here. I am part of this world, the paranormal world, the underworld. <laughs> any type of world that you need to get into, I got the keys. Uh, <laughs> thanks a lot, Dad. Thank you, brother. Love you, too. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying to get like you. Come on. See ya. That is hysterical. Put the cheeseburger <laughs> down. Yeah, so my dad uh, is a lunatic. People think I'm joking around when I say that. Fucking sun me. Yeah, he did. It's funny coming from him because he's close to 300 pounds. <laughs> uh <laughs> I'm trying. Yeah, no. That's funny. Um, no, what do I but... do here? I break this fucking thing? I, oh, I fixed it. I fixed it. I fixed it. But yes. Yeah, so I believe that, though. You think they're affecting the weather? The Ray one is a little crazy. The weather, I can it's understand. A, it's a, I mean, it's a story. Yeah, you it is. It up, yeah, it is. It is. It, it is. is. But like, I feel like that's a hard thing to make up. Yeah. You have to be pretty crazy to make that up. I also, mean, there are some crazy people out there. Also, if we had a thing like that, that could make things just disappear, reappear in, a, in a other place, whatever. Why wouldn't we use that? Probably because it gets people stuck in the wall. No, at, at our enemies. Oh. Yeah, that's true. Why not? Maybe we do. Think about all the military shit we don't know about. Yeah. You ever see those videos of those like metal like dogs they yeah, have that yes. like run? Yeah. Scariest thing that can in the like world. open doors and shit. Oh man, and they can clear corners too. Like they like can uh, they have like little like not wet. What do they have on top of them? Uh, they're not sensors. Gun- they're sensors. They're not guns, but like they can like s- clear rooms. Like see if there's people in there and shit. Yeah, it's freaky, dude. Once yeah. once a like a robot thing is able to open doors, I'm all set. Do you I don't think? Want- do you think that? And probably not in our lifetime. Maybe in our lifetime that all soldiers will be like robots. Because don't because no. don't we have drones already, like that that yeah. are they're they're like fly they're flown by something else. Why can't you have like street soldiers that are like <laughs> all fucking robotic? Yeah, I guess you we wouldn't get anything done. It'd just be like a robot fight. Yeah, like our robots beat your robots. You know, because yeah, because it's like, hey man, we beat your robots. We're gonna make your country a democracy now. I mean, I'd rather a bunch of robots die than humans die. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Sooner or later, there's probably going to be like frontline robots. 
See, that would be amazing. Yeah. If you could have robots go out there and do that kind of work and we keep our snipers going. Yeah, that's it. You know, just like sprinkle in a couple of real people because, you know, technology can only go so far. You know, but keep a couple <laughs> real people to go pew. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I imagine, mean, you imagine, know, that would be unbelievable. It's actually kind of crazy that we're not, you know, the, the Secretary of Defense as a team. Yeah, I think because we have, I, we have ideas. If me and you were to defend this country, one, no one would fuck with us. That's that's for certain. You know what I'm saying? Like, I like if anyone tried to pull up on us, we'd be like, please. Yeah. You know who you're talking to? I have robots. I have robots. And I would use that ray gun if we got it. I'm using it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mid speech, I'd shoot it at you and make you disappear. Honestly, being the president is kind of fire. I hate it. Like, I hate the idea of becoming a president because there's, like, so much work involved. Yeah. But you do get a whole mess of secrets, though. Oh, hell yeah. That like, thing knows the, that thing. The president. Well, some people. Yeah. But, you know, uh, <laughs> think about, like, the intel you get that just nobody knows. Yeah. Like, do they have, like, a book? It's like, all right, we need to take this week. We're going to take a retreat, and we're just going to go over all the secrets. And w one thing I always think about, too, is, like, if they catch, you know, quote-unquote terrorists here that, like, they don't go public about. Yeah, I'm sure that happens all the time. You know what I'm saying? And they try to, like, squeeze them. And by squeeze them, probably beat the shit out of them. Well, that's been well documented. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what I'm talking about is, like, cool shit where it's, like, in the White House, there has to be, like, underground. Oh, yeah, there is. There's evacuation tunnels and oh, shit. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. I want an evacuation tunnel. Didn't they say 9-11 they wanted to fly one into the White House, too? I don't know. I think, I think that was it. They wanted to hit the Pentagon and then, like, the other one. I don't know. I, don't I know. honestly, I, you know. I haven't gone that far into my I mean, did you Did you ever watch Loose Change? That I was did. Like, that I was did. like a big documentary. But, yeah, I did. but I watched that when I was like 17. And yeah. like, you could have told me like Barney was behind it. And I would have been like, yeah. I knew it. I knew that fucking dinosaur it's had like, part dude, of it. This is why we need the Ghostbusters. Because <laughs> none of this would happen, dude. Exactly. They but, had ray guns. <laughs> kind yeah, of. And, yeah, they made people disappear. Well, ghosts. Well, I ain't afraid of no ghost. I'm terrified of ghosts. Uh, for some reason on other shows, you don't dwell on the, like, you're, you're afraid to go into ghosts. Like, I'm not afraid did a ghost to go in do something to you? No, I've never. Did you have a paranormal, uh, I did experience? Not, no, I did not get a paranormal ex experience. I just don't want to get one. So. What would you consider a paranormal experience? A motherfucker's waking, like, I wake up and he's at the edge of my bed like, it's good. Okay. So, like. I'd be like. Forget my life. Like, I'd be, it, it, I wouldn't be able to sleep ever again. Okay, so something that, like, could be chalked up to a, a coincidence. Like, say all the lights were, like, uh, like went crazy. That doesn't really. That wouldn't, that, you wouldn't consider that possibly a paranormal experience. No. So you have to physically see something. Yeah. Or, or if your whole crib started shaking, then you'd be like. Or if I, like, something, cr like, if something falls off of a wall, I'm not going to be like, oh. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? But <laughs> if that candle over there, which just, is, it's heavy. Just lit up. If it. Oh, no, my dad's calling me. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> What's up, dad? We're still on. That's by far one of the best cameos we've ever had on this fucking show. Yo, ever. The guy is something else. I'm telling you right I'm now. I'm telling you, you sent him down a fucking rabbit hole today, too. Like, he had a whole day planned out. Oh, it's over now. It's over He's now. He's canceling everything. Oh, yeah. He's, by the way, gonna call back. Oh, yeah. There's gonna be another. I'll tell you one more thing. I'm not too sure about JFK either. <laughs> yeah, right. You know? But no, you know, sometimes I'll ask him questions like that, that you would like, you think like you ask someone about a conspiracy, like, how do you feel about uh, JFK? And he'll answer me as if I am so fucking stupid for even asking. Oh, coach, give me a break. Yeah. It's like there was 10 shooters. Like, he'll just right, make yeah. it, you know, he'll say some crazy. I think there was multiple shooters as well. But 
Back to the paranormal thing. You were saying if the candle like got up, if and it went from there and just slid like a good two feet and then fell off, I'd be like, "Well, I'm not coming back here." Right. But I've never had anything like that happen. So now another thing that you always dance around too is uh, if things are haunted. Yes. You believe they're haunted. I, I don't know. I've never been in a haunted area. But do you believe in it? I don't know. It's one of those things. That I feel like I would have to experience in order to like I would have to like feel some sort of and then be like you know what there's a lot of weird energy here like, yeah 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 like I get it but like if I was like I was never one of those kids that late at night you're like oh yo me uh Tommy Tyler and Jessica are gonna drive out to the insane asylum and just go stay in it for the night it's like yo you crazy white bitch fuck that yeah I wouldn't do that I'm not I wouldn't doing do that, that I'm not fucking with within the event that there's spirits out there that are like, you know what I'm saying? Like having crossed right. all the way over yet, but they're over here haunted motherfuckers. The last place I would go is to the insane ones. Yeah, yeah. Why would I go to the insane spirits? I want a nice dead ghost. I want a, just a regular dead ghost. Go yeah. to like a Barnes and Nobles and meet like a, a, a really smart ghost. Yeah. I'm not going to the insane asylum and having this guy that fucking had a straitjacket for 30 years. And he died and now he's haunting me. Yeah, you don't want that. I don't that. need that. And I feel like... Ghosts probably are take that offense to that. When they see all those movies, they're like, "We're not like that. Most of us are nice." I wouldn't know. That'd be cool if there was a nice ghost. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! <laughs> <laughs> Even then, though, like if I was having a real tough day and a ghost just appeared and was like, "It's all right, man. Take it easy." I'm like, "Get the fuck out of here, man!" Yeah, yeah. I I'd be terrified. Like I I don't. Is there such thing as a nice ghost though? Yeah. Maybe a nice ghost is a ghost that doesn't fucking show itself to you, dog. Yeah, maybe like a guiding ghost. Maybe there's like a ghost that helps you out all the time. Like something like almost falls on your head and like the ghost just like moves you to the side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but when has that happened to you ever? I would say like close car accidents maybe. Mm. Or yeah. like... You think they're grabbing the wheel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus, take the wheel. Yeah. I guess Jesus is a ghost. Is Jesus a ghost? Yeah. The Holy Ghost, dude. Whoa. Brother. What's the difference between a spirit and a ghost? <sighs> How much time you got? I have no, <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. I was about to be like, all right. I, have no, I think a spirit is more of like an entity. And a ghost is a... Physical form of a motherfucker. That you can't... That no, you could you could see that like you could see him like the like you said the one like would be at, like at your bed like hey what's good can he touch me though or like fuck me that's a ghost a ghost I can get fucked by a ghost yeah a ghost can fuck you wait, a, a spirit is just like like a like a aura wait now that I'm thinking about it, in movies mm -hmm. right when there's a ghost and people get really afraid and it's like he's like angry and like whatever like you can't like you go you pass through them how can they hit you. Because they have ghost powers. You've never seen Ghost with Patrick Swayze? Yeah, fucking pottery or whatever. When he tries to push that can? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then he fucking flicks it. Then he can touch it, whatever he wants. And then those weird, crazy monsters come out of the floor at the end and pull that guy yeah, down the Yeah, all the, the hell. shadow monsters. Yeah. And pull them down. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Spoiler sorry. alert of a 40-year-old movie. Yeah. Rest in peace, Patrick Swayze. Yo, what a hot man. Yeah, man. And he could dance. Uh, even though Dirty Dancing, I think he was courting like a 16-year-old girl or something. Yeah. A little different back then. Even though, the, I mean, you're away at camp doesn't really help your whole, like, thing. Yeah, just because it happened at camp doesn't make it any less illegal. And yeah, it's still yeah. just, like, all fucked up. Yeah. I feel like camp is the, you know, a gate, gateway drug to, like, anal or something. You yeah, know? yeah. A lot of sick shit happens at camp. I've never been to camp. You gotta go to camp, dude. Well, I can't go to camp now. Yeah, why not? I mean, we talked about camp before, but I can't as a grown man go to camp. I'm talking about going to camp when you're a kid, and it's like you're just trying a bunch of stuff. You know, like, oh my god, I got a smear off ice, and like six people like split it, like one smear off ice. Smear off ice. I just started speaking <laughs> fucking German. <laughs> oh, it's ice. It's ice. Yeah, I don't know, man. Well, I don't know either. <laughs> <laughs> well, you went to camp. I went to basketball camp, and then I would have oh, had a lot to, of uh, homosexual experiences. At basketball camp? Oh, oh, yeah. Cause yeah. The dude, it was just dudes. No, I, I've been to basketball camp. What about? But not like camp where it's like, yo, during the day, we're going to be out on the canoes, and then at night, we're sneaking in wine spritzers. No, 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 no. My family couldn't afford that mess. Yeah, no. It's like, how much is that? It's right? a lot of money, dude. It's like thousands. Yeah, upon thousands. For like two months. It's kind yeah. of fire, though. Yeah, dude. Eight I feel like weeks. Jewish people are really getting it done. 
They know, they know what you're doing. That's what I'm saying. If I had kids and like, I, dude, if I had a bunch of kids and I could be like, oh, yo, two months out of the year. I don't have to see you. Suck my ass. Yeah. That alone's worth the money. That's gotta, I don't even care where they go. That's got to be the worst. <laughs> like, yeah, I know. I'd pay someone here. It's $10,000. Just drive them out to the country. And that's got to be the worst part of parenting, too. Like, when you have to go to work and it's like, shit, like, what am I going to do with my kids now? Summer vacations. I don't know. I, th- I Honestly, when you said that, the only thing I thought of was, like, when you have kids and then you go to work and then on your way home, you're like, I can't even relax. I got fucking kids. No, 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 no. Well, that's true, too. Yeah, but, like, it, but, you know. It's terrible. It's like kids is also kind of one of those things like, why do we do this to ourselves? You know, it's like, cause yeah. you, you know, let's do it. I mean, they're great, but, but it's a lot of work. A, what a mess. It's a lot of work. You know what the real crazy the thing is? The only good thing is that they'll live longer than you. Knock yeah. on wood. Yeah. Also, you know, being a teacher, psychotic mess. Yeah. I yeah. don't know why people like volunteer to be teachers. I get educating the youth or whatever, but to, from what I was told in this city, don't get paid even close to enough, I think, for what they're doing. Oh, yeah. Because I have friends who are teachers. You know what I'm saying? They go into work. They deal with these little fucking assholes all day. Who's on their phone now Snapchatting to who, what's going on? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then I assign some fucking homework. Half of you don't do it. Fucking Tommy over here is a prick every day in class. Then I'm like, <laughs> you guys got to write essays. Finally, the day comes, you got to turn in your essay. Now I got to go read 30 essays about yeah. this, about Abraham Lincoln. Yeah. 30 Abraham Lincoln essays. I would get through three and then all of them would get like an average. I'd be like, Yo, yeah, everyone's going to be plus. Fuck that. There's people that do that for sure. And then there's also like, uh, I hate it when teachers would read your papers and ask you questions while grading it. They'll be like, yeah, but what does this mean? I'll be like, what do you want me to come up and tell you at the desk what it meant? Should I, should I write you a letter? To yeah, you? should I rewrite it and then tell you I hated that shit? What do you think is harder to teach, little kids or older kids? Little kids? Yeah. Fuck them. Like, yo, like, <laughs> people, like, my fiance teaches kindergarten. Oh, what a psycho. Yeah, and she teaches kids how to read. Like, the fundamentals of learning. Oh, way harder. Way harder. I feel like when you get older, it's like, I'm just reading out of this book. I assume you guys have something. Yeah. Imagine teaching somebody how to write. From scratch, I, I'm I'm upset you're thinking just, about you're that. Just, you're just giving a kid that doesn't know shit, and it's like, okay, look, I'm gonna teach you the alphabet, and I'm gonna teach you how to write, and you have to talk in a teacher voice the whole time. At least if you're like a professor, you could be like, all right, guys, settle the fuck down. Yeah, Stephen, calm down, all right. Yeah, take it easy. But with kids, it's like you yell at them, and they're like, I don't know what that means, really. Yeah. yeah. My dad lets me eat fruit roll ups at this time. That's and you're true. like, I don't give a fuck. And then you're, you know, people are getting pushed. They're crying. Oh, they crying. Can't, they can't go to the bathroom by themselves. Dude, crying. They're crying. Peeing in their pants. Pooping in their pants. Yeah. These are all things that I've done, by the yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. As an adult. I pooped my pants in pre K. Uh, <laughs> Who hasn't? I didn't tell you that story? No, you have. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, I pooped my pants in pre K. Uh, cried. All the time. Were you a cry? You were a crybaby? Not all the time. But you were a crybaby. But a good, a good amount. Yeah, yeah. Just because you didn't get what you want or you wanted to go home? No, nah, I just was a bitch. I There's think. always one kid that just wants to go home. No, Shut I, the fuck up. No, no, no. I, I enjoyed like being with classmates and friends and shit. I, were I you didn't, one of those kids like if you lost in a game, you would cry? Oh, oh yeah. Damn, dude. You must have been awful. I was the same way. Though. Not like tantrum. <laughs> just be like... <laughs> Not like a tantrum, like, ah, like, Cheated. but just crying like I'm upset. Like, yo, in third grade, I did the, <laughs> I did the softball throw because we had this thing called field day. I wasn't ready. Yeah, I had field day, too. Yeah, so I love had, how you said field day like nobody does it. I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> Every school does field day. Right, so we had a field we day. We had this thing called field day. <laughs> <laughs> what color were you? Were you a color? No, a lot we of times had classes. Classes. So it was classes, but we did... You like signed up for whatever, and I was one of the better athletes in the whole fucking school in third grade. All right, and all I was right. like, cheap pop, cheap pop, cheap pop, real pop. I'm, it's, it's a reason why I'm saying this. <laughs> so in third grade, I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna do the softball toss because my friend Dennis, who was a ridiculous athlete when we were in third grade, tennis Dennis was the fastest kid in the world, and I wasn't gonna beat him at the relay, which is what everyone does. I'll, I'll throw him though. But he wasn't doing it. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to get this this fucking blue ribbon. Nice. Yeah, because I just wanted to get first place. Fuck yeah. And uh, 
so in third grade, I threw the ball mm -hmm. further than everyone in the fifth grade, like tossed the shit out of it, right? <laughs> and this kid who was in fifth grade, who was like, you know, he wasn't trying to like fuck me or anything, but he was like, oh, you stepped over the line. So, oh. so I got disqualified. I like easily would have won first place. Like, and the whole school's watching. So I threw this shit and everyone's like, whoa. Like, it was like, a, you know, like a, there was a roar amongst the crowd. <laughs> And then the guy's like, you stepped over the line. It was like fucking dodgeball in that scene. So they really, he, they counted it? Disqualified a third grader. I was crying from, my eyes From out. the review of a third grader. They from a fifth grader. From a fifth grader. From just the word of a fifth grader. What a scumbag. And you know where that kid lives? Right down that block. Piece of shit. I swear to God. I always let him know. Like, not always. But when I see him out, because I don't really see him that often. He's like older than me. But I'll be like, yo. Yeah. Actually, he might have not been in fifth grade. He was, he was older. He might have been like in eighth grade. What a fucking snitch. Yeah, man. I was pissed. I cried a lot. Like right there in front of everyone. Oh, in front of everybody. Dude, because I was like, I was like, oh my God, I won. And then I was like, I, I can't, just can't win. Did your mom work at the school at that time? She worked as soon as I graduated. Oh, I was going to say, did she have to like usher you off like to a place to no, like talk no. to you, calm was, you down? I was literally in the arms of my third grade teacher, Ms. Poker, Ben, shout out. And I was just <laughs> crying in her arms. She actually gave me a card like a few days later with a ribbon in it that said like first place. And she wrote me this thing about how like. You know, I should have won. And Damn, like, she was oh, trying shit. to smash, dude. She was like 70. I don't know that. I mean, when you're nine. How old are you in third grade? Eight or nine. Okay. Because I think fifth grade, you're 10? Yeah. I think so. But yeah, that's my story, man. Right. Well, it's fucked up, man. Hopes and dreams crash and burn. It's fucking stuck with you, huh? Yeah, shut up. <laughs> Shout out Antonio. Yo, man. I remember every bad sports loss of my entire life. That was my worst one. Yeah. Being DQ'd after you think you won? Oh, man. I remember one time Hurts. in third, like second or third grade basketball, uh, we were playing this team called Ocean City, and they had all the good players. They they had they had all like the the really good players. They had you know they they, they were they were an urban school. So they, they, they were black kids. They they were very good at basketball. Why aren't you saying that? <laughs> I'm just doing it to be a joke. <laughs> I was like, yeah, you're making this sound weirder than it should be. No, they, so they had a couple of kids on there that were nasty. who were monsters. Yeah, I had a, I had a school over here called St. Gabe's. Absolute filthy. Yeah, they were just they were amazing. amazing athletes. So we played them earlier in the season, and the game was like kind of close, but at the end they pulled away and beat us by like 16. Yeah. So my coach, like, after the game was like, hey, man, like, you know, we'll see him again because you play everybody twice. Oh, man. So we played them in the, like, the semifinals. And in the first half, we were down, like, 11 points. Mm -hmm. So, like, you're, you're in it. You're in it. But, like, in your head, you're like, all right, like, you know, let's just try not to get blown out. Yo, we come back and tie the game, dude. Oof. So we, we tie Ocean City. And their coach is fucking yelling at them because, like, they they took us, you know, they're like, we beat them before. But yeah, yeah. they're also in second grade and third grade. So, you know, I don't think anyone's basketball IQ is that <laughs> Wait, high. you're in third grade? Yeah, 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 yeah. This is hilarious. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. This is, so we're down. We get the whole game. They get, they get back up by one. We have one possession left. At this time, I was a very good, like, driver and disher to the basket. So we had one tall kid on our team, this tall white kid, John McCaffrey. Great kid. That's the whitest name yeah, I've yeah, ever heard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. He was a nice kid. Um, so we're dribbling, we're dribbling. There's like 11 seconds left. And this is like not scoreboard. This is like a woman holding a clock. <laughs> yeah, of course. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So it's like. She's just yelling, time. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's like six, five, four. I just hit slow mo pass. Like, roll, I throw it to this kid, John. One. At one, he shoots it. Right? Yeah. So we think we made it. Oh, he hit the shot. So the refs go over to this bitch, right? And they're they're having a conference. Oh, this bitch. And they ask, because it's the semifinals. You got to call it. You know what I'm saying? They said, did the clock hit zero before the ball went in? They didn't even do it as it left his hand. It had to be the ball had to go in by by the time. Did, and she said, no, it hit zero before, and we fucking lost. That's how you lost? Yeah, some fucking bitch with a stopwatch. Oh, my God. Yeah, it was terrible. What did she look like? She was just like an old... She was a white woman? You know, like a white woman that wears like a sweater and then a turtleneck under it? Yeah, I do. That's what... That's was what it she, a, like a sweater vest? It was a sweater vest and then oh, a white turtleneck. I bet she had a white 
she, oh, it was a white turtleneck it was and a, white, a sweater vest. Yeah. Well, just, yeah. Well, you know, basketball's in the winter, so. Yeah, I know, but that's extra warm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus, fuck this woman. Yeah, she fu- and she also worked at the concession she stand. She had glasses? No. What kind of shoes? Uh, I can't remember. Damn it. Open toe, though. It's gross. Open toe no, in a bat? I, I, I have no uh, idea. <laughs> All I know is she worked at the I wanted to create her in my mind and hate her. She worked at the concession stand, too, like, during, like, uh, open gym. Yeah. So, like, I got to see her for, like, months after that. I was like, this fucking bitch. Yeah. And then she also got mad at me because I used to ask for sodas with no ice in them. And then she had this whole thing, like, because I was like, yo, if you put ice in it, there's not that much soda in it. Oh. Like, you know, if you put ice in something, it's, like, not as much. She was like, that's not true. That's not true. Let me show you right now. So this bitch literally filled the thing up, one with ice and one without ice, and poured them in. She goes, see, it's not even that big of a difference, so you can have ice. I was like, damn, yo, this bitch rigged that game too. Also, that's not true at all. It's not true at all. (laughs) Yeah. So not only did she screw you, she's a fucking idiot. Yeah, she's a maniacal bitch. I hate this one. Probably not around still, though. She was kind of old. definitely dead. Yeah. Rest in peace, you fucking bitch. Well, Whoa. I can tell you what. <laughs> <laughs> that was heavy. She's haunting your ass. Yeah, that's why we're talking about ghouls. Come get me. No, see, I wouldn't I wouldn't be asking the other side that kind of thing. The upside down? What's it called? <sighs> the hell? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, let's, let's turn this thing completely on its head here. Let's turn it on its head here. Uh, I have some sponsors that I want to get to before we move on. Um we do have something special planned for today, but before we get to that, let's get to the sponsors, everyone. Are you ready, Danny? I'm ready for some sponsors, babe. I'm also ready. First one we have is SeatGeek. Love SeatGeek. Um, basically, with SeatGeek, it's an app where you can buy uh, tickets to any sporting event, any Broadway play or concert or whatever has tickets. They got them on SeatGeek. It's a very cool interface, very easy to use. Um, they have over 50 thousand five-star reviews a lot of stars and a lot of reviews a lot of satisfaction here yeah, it's just a high a, rate a whole mess of satisfaction satisfactory here. yeah and they have like a an interactive seat map so you can see what the view is from your seat i'm good i got i if got it's tickets. a good price ticket if it's a bad price ticket because if it's a bad price you don't want to get ripped off they're trying to help you with that dog yankees are playing the mets tonight i got some green Green tickets for tonight. It's lit. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's the only app I use to buy tickets. It's the very, it's the easiest one that I find. Um, but right now, SeatGeek will give you uh, $10 off your first SeatGeek purchase. All you need to do is use our promo code, which is BASEMENT. Okay, $10 off your first purchase. Download the SeatGeek app and uh, use the code BASEMENT for $10 <gasps> off. Okay, next up we have OpenFit. Okay, you may be wondering, what is this? Open Fit takes all the complexity out of losing weight and getting fit. It's a brand new, super simple streaming service that allows you to work out from the comfort of your living room in as little as 10 minutes a day. All right, so if you don't have like this long term time, long period of time to work out, all you need is 10 minutes. That's what they're saying. And they are a company. So I trust them. <laughs> um, but right now, you sculpt your body. In the convenience of your own home, like I said, uh, you know you you work out with amazing trainers like Andrea Rogers, who's the founder of World, Worldwide Sensation Extend Bar. Andrea Rogers, lovely name by the way. Um, but yeah, it's a affor- it's affordable and it's accessible. Um, if you're going on vacation or whatever, you can do it from your phone or your tablet or whatever. I still don't even know what a tablet is. I haven't like seen one with my eyes. You have. I I don't I don't know. I know. Is that- An iPad, technically, a tab. I guess so. You could use one of those too if you want. Um, you, you you get what you put in. You can see results within 30 days, uh, which is crazy. In it's the only, grand scheme of days of your life, it's not that many. Yeah, if you want to lose weight and keep it off, you can lose up to 15 pounds in just the first 30 days the right way. Whoa, that is huge. Why are you looking at me? Uh, no, <laughs> you're the only one here. <laughs> yeah, I don't know right. what I just said. I'm getting uh, crossed up all over this damn show today. Open Fit, open fit has changed the way uh, you know people are working out and text the code Texting our code BASEMENT to 303030, um, you can join in on the fitness journey personalized just for you. Um, you know, right now during the Open Fit 30 Day Challenge, our listeners can get a special extended 30 day free trial membership to Open Fit when you text BASEMENT to 303030. Okay, one more time, that is BASEMENT to 303030. All right, and you get all the workouts and nutritional information totally free. All right? Sound good to me. Boom. 
Uh, next, we have Pretty Litter. <laughs> still, still shocked by the science of this product. Yeah, so Pretty Litter is a is a kitty litter, okay? But it's not your typical kitty litter. It's not your mom's kitty litter. It's not your mom's kitty litter, okay? Usually you walk into someone's house, they have a cat, and you're like, it smells kind of weird in here, like a weird mint slash urine smell? Yeah. Cat urine smell? Why what is, is that? Yeah, why is it burning my eyes? Yeah, why is it... I'm in my eyes are getting red. Yeah, this hurts. It's a very strange thing. Um, but pr- pretty litter is kitty litter 2.0. Mm-hmm. Okay, so this is next level kitty litter. Uh, shipped right to your door in a small lightweight bag that lasts the entire month. Again, that's a long time. That's a long time. Uh, no more running to the pet store or storing heavy opened bags of cat litter in your closet. Ugh. I can only imagine what that does to your jackets. Yeah. All mothy probably. All, Gross. Oh my God. Just super mothy. <laughs> <laughs> um, Pretty Litter has next level odor, odor protection. It uses super absorbent crystals that actually trap and conceal odor and moisture. No smell, no mess. Trap that stink. That's what I'm saying. Hell yeah. I might just, you know. I might start using it myself. I'm just to throw it in my toilet, see if it works for me, you know. <laughs> uh, I don't recommend that, though. It's for your cat. Let's not be crazy. Um, <laughs> but the best part about uh, Pretty Litter, this is what Danny was talking about. It even monitors your cat's health. So it changes colors to detect underlying illnesses before urgent medical care is needed, saving you money, stress, and potentially your cat's life. That is freaking amazing. Yeah, I need to shake the hand of this man. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Or woman. Dogs are missing out. They are. They are. Pretty Litter. Um, but yeah, make the switch to Pretty Litter today. Uh, go to pr- prettylitter.com and use the promo code BASEMENT for 20% off your first order. That's prettylitter.com. Use the promo code BASEMENT for 20% off your first order, okay? Promo code BASEMENT, 20, 20%. That's a good percent. That is a great percent. And you got to remember, only cool cats use Pretty Litter. Wow, you crushed that. Thanks, bro. On fire. Up, Up in here. here. Pretty it's Litter, burning. yeah. Go check your pee of your cat. Oh, it's amazing. All right, we have a new sponsor for today. This is the last one we have. New sponsors? Uh, we have Native. Okay, Native Deodorant. Mm. Looked into this. As a person who doesn't really use deodorant, right? Because one day someone was like, yo, deodorant. First of all, we'll get into another thing. Don't really smell all the time. Right. It's on and off. But uh, uh, there's a lot of... There's a lot of stuff in deodorant that isn't safe. That isn't safe, right. Aluminum, That's... amongst other things. Right. <laughs> amongst other things. But someone told me that one day. It's like, it's actually not good to use like deodorant like all the time. Yeah. Because there's some stuff in it that could like... It's not great. It's not great. It's uh, not great. And some say it's like cancer. It causes... I don't know. Whatever it is. Um, but basically, Native is a... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's basically like a... All the cl- clean ingredients. All natural. Natural. That's the one. That's why can it. I? Why can't I think of this? It's insane. Um, All natural, cr- cruelty free as well. Cruelty free. No animal testing. Okay, it's made in the USA with ingredients thought- thoughtfully sourced from around the world. Okay, and it works. You don't have to hold back. They can hang out with your workout. You got busy mom life, sixteen hours a day. You're raising kids, doing whatever. You're gonna sweat, doing it's, like you know what I'm saying. It's easy to get stanky. It's oh, dude, I, you know, you I know? probably smell right now. Um, 7,000 five-star reviews. That's a lot. Bang, bang. That's a lot. You know what I mean? And they have scents, dude. Yo, rattle the off scents these scents. on these things. Rattle them off. The one I'm using, coconut and vanilla, I'm just like a... Dude, I don't even know. I just smell like a... Just amazing. Yeah. If anyone ever smells like coconut and vanilla, I I, I want to be around It you. smells like a clean apartment. I yes. Think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So coconut and vanilla... That's I'm, I'm excited. Scent. I'm excited to get my package. They have lavender and rose. That's sexy. I love lavender. And rose is pretty good too. Yeah, very sexy. And they're together. <laughs> yeah, very sexy. Um cucumber and mint. Now that's like That sounds like something I'd eat. Yeah, yeah, for See, sure. The only problem with this is that you might want to eat it. Yeah. And please don't. <laughs> please don't eat it. But yeah, they're they have really good the, the coconut vanilla is the one I'm using. Um, but it's great. And I like that. Uh, you know that there's not aluminum or any of these like hurtful th- minerals or whatever you want to call them uh, in these things, um, and it's no risk to try. They, they to to to. <laughs> it's no risk to try. Uh, they offer free returns and exchanges in the USA. Um, subscribe and save seventeen percent. You save two dollars per stick and have native conveniently delivered to your door. 
every one, two, three, or four months. Yeah, and that's another thing too, with deodorant. It's annoying to have to go to the store all the time and get deodorant. A lot of it, you know, it's it's tough. It's tough. And I feel like the new wave is getting things like that that you kind of forget about, like a deodorant you would forget about. So eventually, you're not gonna know about it until you're like, I don't have any. Yes. And then, or by that time, it's too late. You gotta go to work, and then you forget after working out, it's two days, no deodorant. Yeah. Now you're double stinky. Yeah, you're do- and you're like doing like a bar of soap, being yeah, weird. Yeah, yeah. Let, na- let native take care of that. Let native take care of that. Okay, they got great sense it's like you know it's i i will say and they even admit the the price point is higher than the standard because they go out of their way for that but it's worth it when you know you're you're keeping your body safe and you're smelling like cucumber and mint or like coconut and vanilla dude it's worth it it's worth it love native um for 20 percent off your first purchase visit nativedeodorant.com and use the promo code basement during checkout again that is 20 percent off your first order um and go to nativedeodorant.com and put in the promo code BASEMENT at checkout, okay? And there you go, folks. Bang, bang, bada, boom. Bang, bang. All right. Now, speaking of eating things. Speaking of eating things, uh, so this is going to get real hot and heavy. Yeah, right? it is. Uh, you know, me and Danny in the past have done some brackets to figure out what is the best whatever it is. You know, yeah. we did the Disney one, I think. Yeah, Disney versus Pixar. Right, and we did... Uh, the championship bracket. The championship bracket. Now we have the greatest candy of all time bracket. <sighs> and we have four divisions. Heads are going to roll. Heads are going to roll here, okay? And I'm, yeah. I already know there's something on this list that I'm going to have to come across this table and fight you for. <sighs> uh, we have four divisions. Chocolate. Safe. Safe. Uh, sour. Like it. Sweet. Love it. And then we have a miscellaneous. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so that's what we're doing. All right. And listen, we only have four. We seeded them before we did this. We're yeah. like, all right, we need to know, like, you know, we, have to, we have to agree on, like, the best chocolate or the best sweet, the best sour, yeah. and the best miscellaneous. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So just to go over, should we go over each one now, or should we just like? I say we just roll with it. Let it be a it? surprise because listen, people are gonna have candies on here that uh, that aren't on here, and they're gonna be like, "Oh, why wasn't on there?" Listen, they were in heavy consideration. Yeah. But at the end of the day, yeah. this is what we decided on. All yeah. right. If you don't like it, don't do anything. Yeah. Just continue watching. <laughs> <laughs> just sit back and relax. Six back. Six six, six back. Six back. Six backs. Um. All right. So in the chocolate, mm. we got. The one seed, Twix. Yeah. Twix is a one seed. Twix is a one seed. Twix is amazing. I like that two of them come in the pack. I like that too because it makes me feel like, oh, I got two of them for the price of one. That's what, that's the illusion. And there's a lot of layers. You got that. You got the outside chocolate. You got the caramel. Big caramel guy. Yeah. And that wafer cookie. Shit. New, nougat? I, dare I say nougat? Dare you say it? I think it's like Graham. Could be nougat. Yeah, I don't know. That might be nukes. I feel like nougat is the name of some like white guy who like has like a pocket protector or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, nougat. You know? Yeah. Anyway. Isaac nougat. Yeah. Uh, the two seed Snickers. Safe. It's a safe one. Safe. It's chalk so they're, far. They're every year. They're every year. Yeah. Great fun size. A l- lot it's of marketing gr- money too. Yeah, and it's great in every size. It's true. Three, Reese's. Reese's. Butter cups. Yeah, peanut butter cups. We're not fucking with Reese's Pieces. Yeah, no, that came way later. We're talking about the classic Reese's Pieces butter cups. Yeah, suck mess those, with me, I'll mess you up. Yeah, suck those cups. Yeah. You ever suck on a cup? Suck a cup? Yeah. Like a like a peanut butter cup. I think you meant like a D cup. No, nah, come on, dude. We've all sucked a cup. Let's go. We've all sucked big ass cup. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and then the four seed, Kit Kat. Kit Kat. Love Kit Kat. All reliable. All reliable. Yeah. And also... Maybe 30 I'm, years ago would be a higher seed, but we're, we're, we've got more innovative. Yeah, you know? right. So, obviously, when you seed this way, one plays four, two plays three. Yeah. So the first matchup we have, Twix versus Kit Kat. I will go out and say... The battle of the double the double sticks. Oh, wow. Actually, no. Is it, uh, well... Kit Kat is usually like five, four. four. Five, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So let's just take that into consideration, though. There is more, there is more to... Break you off a piece of that Kit Kat bar. Fancy feast. Yes. Football cream. Football cream. Uh, uh, <laughs> no, but Kit Kats, okay, they're not that crazy as a Twix. They don't satisfy my candy needs mm. as much as a, 
that caramel. That caramel takes it over the top. Because if you think about it, if you take the caramel out of a Twix... It's a Kit Kat. It's a Kit Kat. Yeah, you're it's right. It's the caramel that puts it over the top. Yeah, over the top. I, I honestly, I was trying to defend it, but I can't. I can't. No, no, no. It's and, fucking Twix. And you're a big, you're a big Kit Kat guy. I love. I think the you cat. eat Kit Kat more than you eat Twix. Oh, I love the cat. Yeah. You know. That could mean a, a ton of things, and I'm ready for all of them. But if you're in a Dwayne Reed or a Walgreens or whatever you guys have, uh, and there's Twix and there's Kit Kat, which one are you grabbing? Depends what kind of mood I'm in. Nah, it depends. That's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> it depends what mood I'm in. No, I, no, it depends. No, it depends. <laughs> okay, that's doesn't, It doesn't matter. That's what I meant to say. It doesn't matter. <laughs> you have to just pick. It depends. If I had to pick between a Twix and a Kit Kat on what's just like overall better. Yeah. It's a Twix. All right, so Twix is moving on. Twix is moving on. And right. it's, it's a sad day for Kit Kat, to yeah, be honest is. with it you. It is. But they put up, a, like, a good fight. Like, oh, a great fight. Like, the score was, like, 75 to 73. <laughs> yeah, no one think they'd come this far. No, but you know no, what? No. They shocked some people yeah. in the tournament. But it's your time to go home. Sorry, Kit Kat. Yes. All right, next we have Snickers and Reese's. Oh, God. This is, this is Clash of Titans. For really? Me. For me, yeah. No, I got Snickers. Like, it's not even close for me. Wow, you're nuts, dude. It, yo, that, yeah, in Snickers. Now, here's the thing. Ah, oh, that's smart. Got him! Smart. Like uh, that? Pun all over this bitch. Do you like peanuts more than you like peanut butter, though? No. There's a cup of chocolate and peanut butter. And Snickers are crunchy. It's crunchy. Yeah. Okay? So you have to, you know, the one thing I will give it is that the fridge ability of it. The cooling factor of the Snickers. Did you say the frigibility? Yeah, that's a word. Yeah. Yeah, we made that up. For sure. The freezeability and the frigibility to make it cold <laughs> is higher than a, uh, a butter cup. And I also don't like when Reese's butter cups, you open them up and like it's the peanut butter showing already. You know, because it like it melted a little bit, and it's like, yeah. oh, they took off half the top of that. I yeah. don't want that. I also don't like their packaging. I don't like that Reese's come in this little cupcake. Holder or whatever the yeah, fuck. Yeah, yeah. It's a lot of cleanup. It's more cleanup. <laughs> it's a lot of cleanup. <laughs> so I'm going to have to say Snickers, too. I'm saying Snickers. Yeah, it's not close. <laughs> I got, it got it, You open it up. It's it got the little uh, the white cartridge holder. Way too much garbage. You know, what is it, the fucking uh, machine gun you, clip? You can't eat that? that on the road. No. I got too many fucking things. Come on. <laughs> it's, it's a clean it's a, it's a cleanup mess. All right, that's the end of the first round for chocolate. Next, we have miscellaneous, miscellaneous. Miss, okay, miscellaneous. And now the one seed. Spell miscellaneous. Let's just go out and play with the game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't think I can spell it, dude. You know, it's M I S C E L L A N O U S. No, 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 no. There's an E in there. There's, There's an definitely e, an E. e, e, e. Mis miscellaneous. Oh, it's, yeah. Oh, M I <laughs> M I S C. E L L, holy shit! A -N -E -O -U -S. I don't know. Dude. O U S. Okay. Lanius. Lanius. I'm gonna look that up. No, don't don't look it up. Don't look it up. Just ride out with it. Let me spell it. M I S C. Did you say N? M. Okay. M I S C. Yes. E. L. L. T -t 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 Today, Junior. <laughs> L are you going to the mall tomorrow? Uh L L Miscellaneous A N C I O U S Miscellaneous. Are you O S That was so wrong. Spell I it. I spelled it correctly. Did you really spell it? Yeah, it's lane. Like a lane like a lane. L A N E. Missile Ain. It's Miss. O U S. Cell. O U S. Yes, it's M I S C E L L A N E. O U S. O U S. Okay. You threw a C in there. I, I'm sorry. Like miscellaneous. Miscellaneous. <laughs> miscellaneous. <laughs> All right, anyway. All right. Uh, we have Gushers coming in at number one. Yeah. It's a very good fucking candy. I yeah, love Gushers. But I never know what flavor I'm eating. I also, I mean, yeah, it, it honestly does not fucking matter. Yeah. Um, also. It's the feel of exploding. I've never eaten them. I've never eaten them like one at a time. 
No, no, no. It's like I take one out and then the rest are connected. I'm like, well, I'm eating this whole fucking thing. Yeah, I'm eating this fucking double helix of fucking gushers. Number two, we have Twizzlers. Okay, some licorice. Didn't know where that fit into any of this shit, but yeah. I know it's like a pretty popular candy. Yeah, so. Twizzlers are good. Yeah. Uh, three, we have Mike and Ike. We've had that argument. <coughs> well, let's just move forward. And then four, we have Tootsie Pop. Tootsie Pop. A Tootsie Pop. Classic. All right, so one verse four, Gushers. One verse four. We have Gushers versus Tootsie Pop. Tootsie Pops are out for me because they cut your tongue. Okay, don't be a bitch. No, I'm just saying, though. Like, it does. Like A Tootsie Pop? Yeah, it cuts the roof of your mouth. Like, what, is it a dangerous thing? It's a pop. It's a Tootsie Pop. First of all. It's just a pop. Also, it was misleading. All those commercials. How many licks does it take to get to the center? You it's got a legitimate a, question. You got an owl licks it three times and then bites it. That owl was full of shit. Then there was like another one that said it takes like eight. I can't remember what it was. I don't like that. It cut my tongue multiple times. Yeah. I can't with you. Yeah. It's a t- it's a it's a lollipop. It's on the go. You could <laughs> look at me. Look at me having fun. And then you could suck. You could do that, which is fun. And then in the middle, when you're like really almost done with it, you get a chocolate surprise. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's not, I love Tootsie Pops. It's going to be a no for me, Doug. You're going to take Gushers? Yeah. Gushers I had more fun with. What? <laughs> what the fuck does that I just know that taste bud wise, I had more fun eating Gushers than I did a Tootsie Pop. But it's bigger than that, Danny. No, it's, it's not. It's not just what tastes better. I've got to take a lot of things. Into, think about this. Let me, I'm a, okay. Come on, come I'm, on. I'm fighting for Tootsie Pop here. All right. Gushers. I know you want an upset, but it's going to be tough. Uh, listen, you pop open that Gushers. They're all connected. And they're very sweaty. They are a sweaty candy. And there's no way you're eating a fucking a Gusher without getting your hands all fucking sticky jizzy. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So these fucking Gushers, you open them. Maybe there's like two that are like singles, but the rest of them are all connected. Yeah. Which is annoying. I got to break this apart. I'm not doing that. It's added work. Also, sometimes you open it, one of them pop. There's gush blood everywhere. Which you're not complaining about, but now I'm, I'm missing out on some gush blood in the middle of my gusher. Yeah, you don't want to empty gush. Me neither. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, you don't want to empty gush. So it's just, you know, consistent. But does that, out, does that outweigh the actual physical toll? A Tootsie Pop takes on your mouth. There's no toll. You've never, you're going to go on record right now and tell me that a Tootsie Pop has never cut your mouth. It has scratched me. A cut? Jesus. A cut? Have, have I been severed by a Tootsie Pop? No. All right. <sighs> it's, there's all, there's and it's, also, more, it's more classic. A lollipop. Children love the lollipop, Danny. And there's different flavors. There's different flavors. Chocolate, cherry. There's watermelon even. Yeah. All right. You swayed me. Yes! <laughs> Tootsie Pop! Swayed me. All right. This one, you're not going to be able to sway me. You thought that was bad. Yeah. Next, we have Twizzlers versus Mike and Ike. Not even close. It's Twizzlers. Okay, I just I'm going to lose my fucking. Head. I don't understand what's your whole thing with fucking Twi- Mike uh, li- and Ike. Li- licorice. 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 What are you? Ninety seven. It has nothing to do with age. Licorice is disgusting, and only people from the Roaring Twenties eat it. Dude, you're talking about Mike and Ike's. That shit is chalk. It's chalk. Are chalk. you even aware of what Mike? It doesn't taste like chalk. I've been on the war. I've been eating candy longer than you. That's not true. Yes, Apparently, yes. if you think Mike and Ike is chocolate. I have diabetes. I've been eating chocolate and candy longer than you, dude. I don't brother. give a fuck. I don't give a shit. Okay, if I had Mike. You, what was the last time you had a Mike and an Ike? That's exactly the answer I thought you were going to have because you don't fucking know anything no, about No, because them. I don't take time partaking in garbage candy. Twizzlers are disgusting. Why are they disgusting? They all you don't taste like the cherry. Same. You don't like cherry shit? It's not cherry. It's cherry licorice, which is a cherry. It's licorice. I'm just letting you know right now. You don't like cherry things? It's, it, listen. You it, like everything but real cherries. Listen, I'll tell you this right now. Tell me. If you're going to tell me that a Twizzler and a Michelin tire don't taste the same, you're wrong. They don't. They do. They do not, They sir. do. Black licorice? I'd let you have it. I'd let Mike and Ike just walk into the second round. But I'm letting you know this. Mike and Ike is not an enjoyable candy. Are you fucking crazy? It's repla- It's it's placeholder candy. First, it's placeholder candy. It's not even candy that you even like. go out of the way. You don't go to the store to buy it. You don't. 
A placeholder candy? Yes, it's just there to be there. It's like shitty double mint gum. You're never going to buy double mint gum. Sticks of gum? You're going to buy Orbit, something that comes in a cool case. You're going to buy something that's better. They still produce it because people buy it in small little boxes when you want to be the worst house on the block on Halloween. That's what Mike and I call it. Twizzlers can suck my dick. We're going to have to come to some kind of agreement here. I can't. I can't. Yo, tw yo. Licorice. The way it's spelled even is piss. Lick, lick core rice. Oh. Uh, There's a Q in it. It's one of the worst fucking letters. What about the peel? What about like the peely one? What's that it's called? That's all Twizzlers. You could peel Twizzlers? Yeah. No, no, you can't. No, I think it's red vines. No, yeah, peel. oh yeah, whatever. You could peel. But it's all gross. It's no, no, no. Dude, and there's more there's more flavors. It's more sweet. You don't like a sweetness when you have candy. I don't like the texture of Mike and Dyke. Texture? It's a round bead. No, I like I like I like the I like dots better than that. With the paper? Oh oh no, oh. You know jelly dots. Oh yeah. I, I like those too. Yeah. But they get they get caught in my teeth. I don't they like do, that. they do, They're and so do Mike and Ike's though. No, they don't. Mike and Ike's can be. I feel like I'm chewing like a camel. No, that's not true. I'm just letting you know. I've been around longer. I've chewed a lot more Mike and Ike's. You have not chewed more Mike and Ike's. I think I have. Dude. Uh, you haven't. I'm just telling you. If we went tail of the tape, just looking at each other side by side, I think I got you beat in the candy category. Not Mike and Ike. <sighs> licorice. I'll let you have licorice. I think Twizzlers are more enjoyed. I refuse to call enjoyed. it Twizzlers. All right. It's licorice. licorice. All right. It's disgusting. You don't like... What about just like another curveball? What about taffy? Do you like taffy? Like sea salt taffy? Yeah, like saltwater taffy. Why are you naming all of these grandma fucking candies? Oh, I'm sorry. You don't like fudge either? Fudge? Yeah, fudge is good. Fudge is, fudge is great. <laughs> That's an old person. <laughs> Anything that you have to go to the Jersey Shore to get is old people candy. Just like unmarked candy. Yeah. Like my grandma would have unmarked shit. I'm like, what is this? She goes, I, I don't. It's just like a, an orange tablet. I'm yeah. like, what the fuck is this? Or it has like really fine cursive writing on it. It's like, what is this? Is, uh, yeah. What are we doing She's like, It looks like an elf wrote this. Yeah. I don't want this. Listen, I gave you Tootsie Pop. Give me, give me, give me licorice. Whatever. Take your fucking disgusting licorice. All right, moving on to the sour category. <laughs> let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, we have at the one seed, obviously, Sour Patch Watermelon. Oh, let's my gosh. get let's get fucking real here. Yeah. Uh, two. My 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 pick, honestly, I think to win it all. I don't know how this is gonna go, but I, I like them a lot. Oh, you you you're already making a, a hot call here. Oh yeah, I like I have them in my final four, easy. <sighs> Jeez, good lord. All right, we have uh, Sour Patch Watermelon at the one seed, two seeds, Sour Skittles. It's a great great runner up. Skittles are good. Adding a sour element to it, good. Yeah. Uh, three sour patch children, sour patch kids. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean. And then the four seater sour gummy worms. Yeah. The tro trolleys, trolleys, whatever those tr are. Triolis. I don't know. Strombolis. Strombolis. I don't know. Uh, but Remember when your school would serve you stromboli? My school never served me a stromboli. Really? No. Damn, we had stromboli today. It was fire. All right, keep going. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have the one verse four, which is Sour Patch Watermelon versus Sour Gummy Worms. It's been a nice ride, Sour Gummy yeah, Worms, but yeah. I'm sorry. Yes. Sour Patch I do watermelon. like the two-toneness of Sour Gummy uh, Worms. Oh, worms are great. You know what I'm saying? They're and I like cool. that I can just eat half like blue, uh, half, 15 you know, of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not that they're terrible, but you're going up against, like, you know, a juggernaut here. Yeah, it's, I'm sorry yeah. here. You know what I'm saying? Also, they have sour, like, octopuses. Octopi. Do they really? Yeah. Wow. And it's literally like five gummy worms connected to one big ball. That's something I would be interested in. Though. I am very interested. Yeah, in. I'm gonna be on the I, I want to get candy that. so bad after this. Oh yeah, big but time. I probably shouldn't. You, but, oh, you, my, you, me both. Okay, now we have sour Skittles and sour Patch Kids. Now I am going to give this to sour Skittles. Ooh. And it's close, but the reason I'm going to give it to sour Skittles is because <sighs> there is a threat. <laughs> Uh, you'd have to watch the video for that one. <laughs> um, Sour Patch Kids can get overwhelming. It could fuck my tongue up real bad. You have one sensitive mouth. You're afraid of Tootsie no, Pops, no, and no, now no, this no, with no, the kids. No, no. But no, if you, because you want to know the thing about Sour Patch Kids, there's leftover dust in there. 
Yeah, you slide that right down your face. Nah, man. That shit burns your whole shit up. What shit? You get to like, you're popping those green ones. You're like, oh, I'm, in, I'm, in, I'm sad. I'm all right. You pop a couple of those yellow babies. You're struggling. No. Yeah, dude. It burns your mouth out. You got a bitch ass tongue. <laughs> uh, I'll be honest. I like the kids. You like the kids. I like kids. The kids. Now, what Don't. do you? Why do you like them more than do? You, what, what do you like more? Sour Patch <laughs> melons or Sour Patch kids? Hey, you can't be doing future uh, matchups. No, but I'm, I'm just saying though. It's like I like the kids because there's they, diversity. Okay. Right. You know what I'm yeah, saying? That's true. That's true. There are. It's, it's more of a unifying candy. That's, uh, no, I'm not talking about in the world. I'm on with people. With oh, people. Oh, oh, sorry. The fuck? I thought you were talking about like that. No, there's flavors. Yeah, there's flavors too in Skittles, motherfucker. No, oh, that's true. I didn't even think about it. <laughs> I, here's my only coming thing. from a guy. Didn't you say fucking like purple was your favorite Skittle or something? You fucking maniac. What? Didn't you rate the skir- sk- Skirtles? The the Skittles? No, I said that was the worst one. All right. Well. Uh, Okay. Now, the only reason I will be willing to give it to Sour Patch Kids because I can't name any Sour Skittles flavors. Yeah, I don't know. But uh, I will say this. Cool bag, though. Green bag. I will say, love the green bag. Yeah. Love the green bag. But when they get a little melted, it fucks up everything. True. But I will say, the the Sour Patch Kids is not that, like, sour. It's a good, like, it's a good sour level. Yeah. Sour Skittles can make your fucking jaw hurt back here. Yeah, there's a lot of extra chewing. At least you could suck upon a kid. Oh, fuck. We're gonna, we're gonna edit that. You can't say suck upon a kid on the show. No, I'm sorry. You know what I meant. So you could suck the, you could suck the Sour Patch children. To... If that's not helpful either. Adding children into that almost made it fucking worse, to be honest. With you me. could suck the Sour Patch candy that's Go made ahead, you of sour. Su- okay, kids. so you could suck the kids. Go ahead. And what kind of sick fuck makes a candy where you suck kids? Uh, you eat little ch- children. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of pedophile now, if I'm, if I'm being honest. You know, hey, let's make a candy of just a bunch of sour kids and you suck on you them. You suck on the kids? Yeah. Oh, you sick freak. Told you. Yeah, but I love them. They're really good. You gave me licorice. I'll let you suck the kids. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're sick men. Oh, just sick, gosh. Men. just sick men here. All right. <laughs> I'll let you suck the kids. <laughs> Honey, I suck the kids. Oh, Jesus. Um, that's great. Yeah, it's probably out there in the black market somewhere. Too dark, too real. Sorry, moving too forward. Too dark, <laughs> too real. Fix it. Okay. Uh, it's a sweet category. I wonder if people are agreeing with us so far. Probably not. Oh, there's no the way. The Twizzler, Mike, and Ike debate is always a big one. And you know there's some, like, bastard out there. It's so like, dude, what? Where's candy corn, you fucking losers? You know what? I'm ready to talk about candy corn before we get into this. Uh, what a what a polarizing candy. I know, and the fact that it's still around. See, I would put Mike and Ike's and candy corn in the same bracket. Like th- that's where they stand with me. There's a lot of stuff I want to say to you right now, say but it. I know if I say it on the show, we'll get canceled. Okay. Um. No, I'm angry though. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I will. I will. I'll take it into account. Yeah, I have. Yeah. I have. I, pr- I promise. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> no, but candy corn is one of those candies. It's like I don't like it. But I eat it. Yeah. So it's, it's not a good candy. I don't like it. It's but garbage. it keeps going into my mouth. Yeah, because it's there. Just yeah. like Mike and Nike's. They're there. Okay. All right. Probably like Good and Plenty's too. Keep going. I'm starting to get hot. Good and Plenty's? Oh, do you know what Good and Plenty's are? Licorice, you dumb bitch. Yeah, but they're small things that aren't. They're, they're not the same texture as Twizzlers. Not even close. But they're licorice. They're made of the same things. No, but they're not even close. Oh yeah. Texture wise. Oh, oh, you're not a texture person. It's liquor. The taste is the problem. No, it's about texture too, dude. Texture, brother. Just kidding. What is a Twizzler? It feels like barbed wire. Your palate is so juvenile. Yeah, and you got a, a mouth. I'm afraid of the Tootsie Pop. Get the fuck out of here. Anyway, I don't want to cut my mouth on joint candy. Yeah. I would cut my mouth for a Tootsie Pop any fucking day. Anyway, we got the sweet category coming up. It's Once, not going to be sweet, I'll tell you. I think this will be chalk. We have uh, 
the one seed is Starburst. Great fucking candy. Oh, what a classic candy. Yeah. It's one of the first ones you grab when you get in there. What was your favorite Starburst again, you fucking crazy person? No, the pink. Oh, yeah, that's mine too. Yeah, but then it goes yellow, and that's where people have problems. I like yellow over red. Yeah, I do too. I like yellow over red. I go yellow, I, I red, can, orange. I have... Whoa, the orange. Wait. The orange is last. Okay. Yeah, orange is trash. Uh, yeah, I thought, <laughs> I thought for a second that you said orange, red. And no, no, no. Like, Red is better than orange. I, orange like, I, don't, I don't know if I could do the rest of the show. Yeah. You're really throwing that hand out there at me, huh? Safe. <laughs> safe, safe. <laughs> um, so Starburst is the one seed. Two seed, Skittles. Love Skittles. Big Skittle guy. Were you one of those people, like weird kid that like put water in the bag? What kind of sick, demented children did a lot, you grow a, up? A lot of kids did that. A lot of kids did that where I grew up. A lot of Jewish kids. Maybe it's a Jewish thing. Ew. Why would they do that? Oh, I thought you meant because I said Jewish. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just had to save you there for a second. Oh, man. I was like, all right. <laughs> Someone in the comments was like, did he say that because of the Jewish thing? <laughs> I was no, like, because of the gross, disgusting putting water into the Skittle bag like it's some fucking candy cereal. Did Joe just ill the Jew? <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny. Um, no, but that is honestly. Yeah, I never disgusting. did. I thought it was gross. I, I don't think I don't like water touching anything. Like I'm a person like. Uh, yeah, your body. You hate that. I hate it. I hate it. I hate, I hate showers. I hate showers. <laughs> uh, three gummy bears. Oh, Haribo's so clutch. Also, great, great fr fridge candy. Yeah, yeah. Frigidatory candy. It is. A, it has a. a, a <laughs> A frigidatory uh, value. <laughs> what was the word you made up before? It wasn't frigidatory. No, but that's a great one too. Um, all right, and four we have Swedish fish. Frigidatory, maybe I said. I don't know, but Swedish fish comes in at the four seed. Love Swedish fish. They're good. Yeah, but also another thing gets way too stuck in my mouth. Really, I don't feel like that at all. Yeah, man, Swedish fish can get all up in your gums. No, I would think st like Starburst more than anything in this list gets stuck. Yeah, Starburst is like. Like edible I could, gum. Yeah, I could pull my fucking teeth out with that yeah. shit. Um, one verse four, Starburst versus Swedish Fish. I mean, I, I got to give it to, I gotta give it to Starburst. Starburst. Man, too much fucking... It's, it's too uh, versatile. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Um, not even going to talk about it. Skittles versus Gummy Bears gets a little tough. I'm going to go with... Gummy bears. Nah, I'm going Skittles, dude. You're going Skittles? Yes, dude. Nah, man. Dude, don't do this. Yo, Listen, Haribo I don't want to yell right bear. now. I Yo. thought this was easy. First of all, didn't you have like a 70-pound bag of gummy bears and First ate of all, all of them? I didn't buy that. Somebody bought it for you, yeah. and you ate the whole bag. It was impressive. I'm not even trying to make you feel bad. It was a gift. We, you don't throw out gifts. You, you enjoy the gift. You ate that whole thing, and there must have been 5,000 gummy bears in there. Oh, yeah, but over a period of time. <laughs> right. But you were running purely off water and gummy bears for like a short period of time. Uh, listen, I, I'm, more, I'm a person that I, like when I have a goal in front of me, I put my head down. <laughs> I really commit to it. You know what I mean? You put your feet in the ground. Yeah, I'm a method actor. So, you know, I was really getting in the zone. Uh, and like I said, it was a gift. I didn't want to throw it out. So, you know, I had to, I had to enjoy yeah, it. Yeah, you pull up your bootstraps and go to work. That's it. I, you know. Really? So why is a Skittle better than a Haribo gummy bear? Because it's just it it just is you know like it, it's a better packaging. That's a great argument. By it the just way. is, and you could you know what I like to do, which is kind of fun. You take two Skittles, you smush them together, and they like kind of spread out. Smush them together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You take two. Damn, of you got to be pretty strong to do that. Aren't they hard candy? <laughs> you don't have to be strong. Uh, <laughs> But you put two together like this, and Fucking then you, Thanos can just, over here. you can just crush them, and then be they both become flat. And you're like, ooh. <laughs> here's my here's my argument. This is the most ridiculous. Yeah, I know. Here's my argument. Yeah. There's a bad flavor of Skittle. There is not a bad flavor of gummy bear. The white Boom! one. Boom! The white one. But it doesn't taste like anything. It's like it's like a it's like a uh, uh it's like um It's nothing. No, There's it's no flavor. It's just a gelatin thing. No, but it's like um it's a it's like a white it's it's like a spritzer kind of. It's like the spritzer of the of the gummy bears. What the hell are you talking about? You know, about? it's like a white wine spritzer. It's like it's nice. It's nice. It's not nice. I think so. No. Why my arm's still up? I don't know. Uh, but they're but they're good. 
No. No. Man, dude, we're talking about Skittles here. This is a powerhouse in the candy industry. We're going to be disrespected. You don't think gummy bears are a staple? I guarantee you, if we look up the stock, <laughs> Skittle stock is way higher. Oh, well, they had the machine behind them. Haribo's just a guy just out here making great, great product. That's not true. Skittles are great. Which one do you think is older, Skittles or gummy bears? I think the idea of a gummy bear is 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 older. Thank you. The fuck does that mean? Also, more fun to eat. You could bite the head off a bear. It's kind of sick. I, no, man. I, I honestly, I honestly, like, I, I really have to put my foot down for Skittles here. All right. Okay. I, All right. I really think. I don't agree, but move. Just keep, just keep the the movement. Uh, whatever. You are flustered. A little bit. A little All right. bit. All right. All right. We're going to go back up to the top. Haribo, if you want to do a sponsorship, please call me. I will gladly throw Skittles into the wind for that, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, we're going to send you three bags. Yeah. If anyone here works for Yo, Haribo. Guys, everyone fucking tweet at Haribo. <laughs> <laughs> everyone tweet Haribo and tell them to send us stuff. How do you pronounce that, by the way? I say Haribo. Is it, is it Japanese? I don't know. Is it Haribo? I say, I say Haribo. Some people say Haribo. I think it's Japanese. Maybe. Haribo. I don't know. Uh, Type, are, is Haribo Japanese? If it's like Italian, I'm going to be so mad at myself. <clears throat> uh, it is German. German. Not Japanese. So it's, <laughs> it's definitely not Japanese. 1922. Oh my God, Skittles not even close. I'm typing in Skittles. What year are we? I'm at? gonna say 1948. Oh no, way later than that. Way later. 1975. Damn, dude. It was marketed as the gum that won't stick to most dental work. <laughs> you want to let that go, dude? Skittles are amazing. Fine, fine, fine. What's next? God damn it. All right. Uh, all right, so we have in the chocolate category, moving on here. This is going to be a long episode. Uh, Twi <coughs> Twix versus Snickers. Twix. Easy. Yeah. I think Twix, easy. Yeah. I, I just I just don't like the texture of Snickers that much. And I think... Oh, I don't... I think Snickers get, like, for some reason, like, they've gotten smaller. Really? And, yeah, like, the production value isn't as good as, as a Twix. Like, a Twix, I know exactly what I'm getting, Snickers sometimes doesn't hit the spot for me. Twix always hits the spot. Twix are great, man. Always hits the spot. And when they're frozen? Blah. Yeah, man. All right. Oh, Danny, Danny, Danny. We have Tootsie Pop versus Twizzlers. I'll give it to Tootsie Pop. Okay, thank you. I really, I'm very tired from yelling. No, I am too, but I'll give it to Tootsie Pop. Like, I, I'm not, listen, I, I'm a man, I, I'm a man with morals and I, and I have my stances, but I know where I stand. I know where I stand. Right. You know, I'm good, not going to stand on this. I'm not going to go to war for Twizzlers over something like a Tootsie Pop. I understand you. Over uh, a Mike and Dyke, I'm willing to die on that sword. Yeah, I'm willing to die as well. I know. Uh, Sour Patch Watermelon versus Sour Patch Children. I mean, the watermelon. Yeah, and after that whole, like, sucking on children thing. Yeah, get the kids out of here. Got to definitely uh, put the kids to bed. Watermelon's coming downstairs. Yeah. All right? Yeah. Save the children. Save the children! <laughs> Uh, all right. And then in the suite, we have Starburst versus Skittles. Starburst, 100%. I don't think it's even close. Uh, that's a stretch, but I also will go Starburst. I don't it. even think it's close. I think Starburst blew him out by 30. Wasn't even close. Okay, we're going to relax. I'm just saying. What's worse, a purple Skittle or an orange Starburst? Honestly, that's not a good question to ask because... Why not? It's just two shittiest ones. Well, because my, my answer is, I don't know my answer. <laughs> I don't know. That's a bad question to ask because my answer is, I don't know my answer. I don't know, bro. Anyway. Uh, all right. Now moving right, up, right along. I want to shoot that fucking death ray at that goddamn fucking mic and like is what I want to do. Make I'm going to go get a box right now. Uh, now we have Twix versus Tootsie Pop. Not even close. Again. It's not. <laughs> it's not. It's Get that not. fucking glass pop out of here. Shattered glass. Caught you, me. You are something ridiculous. You've given up on, on Tootsie Pop. You got caught by one I just thing. put him through to the next round. Over Twizzlers. You got so, you, have, you have a vendetta against the pop, don't you? I just think they... they, they let me tell you something. You if think, anyone picks a Tootsie dangerous. Pop over Twix, I don't even want to talk to you. 
I don't even want to talk to you. It depends. If I'm on the run, I'm going to pop it. Yeah. All right. This is tough. A starburst against Sour Patch Watermelon. See, now I'm going to predict. I feel like this is like the West. Yeah. It's this, like whoever this is the Western Con- is going to win it. Yeah, <laughs> probably. Um, sour Patch Melons. Yeah, versus Starburst. Are so satisfying. They're so good. So it's like I can never have enough either. Yeah, there's not different flavors, but the flavor is so perfect yeah. that you don't care that there's not, you know, some fucking uh what's the word I'm looking for? Diversity. Thank you. But I and and I will say the sour patch watermelon also. You could suck on that melon. It's thick. Yeah, and it's like thick. You can suck on the watermelon and then when the when the when the sour goes away, it's still good. It's just nice and sweet now. It's still good. It's still now you good. just have a beautiful piece of watermelon. You can put it in your lip right here. And it's not like sticky. It's not too no, sticky. No. It doesn't stick to those teeth. No. <laughs> starburst, though. A pink Starburst. It's very good. The other thing we left out is Starburst has a beautiful mixing chemistry. If you mix a red and a pink, that's a party, dude. Yeah. You know, you mix a yellow that's and a, a pink, that's a party, dude. You know, I said a ped. Yeah, Ew. like a pedophile. Damn, dude. We're going to have to cut a lot of this out. Yeah, we're going to have to. Yeah. But um, <laughs> why'd you say it's a pet? Oh, it's because it's uh, pink, pink and, and red. red. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah, should have yeah, went yeah. rank. She said pred. That's even worse. <laughs> Have a seat, right? right. Uh, why don't you take a seat? Why don't you take a seat? Um, <laughs> uh, I'm going with sour patch melons. Join me. You know what? I am. Join gonna, me. I'm gonna join you. Yes. I'm gonna join you because I I think they're really I think they're really they're good. top fucking notch. Yeah, they're really good. I also love their box, like the packaging. Skittles is like, I gotta roll it up. You know, sour patch kids. They you mean eat Starburst. Uh, Starburst, yeah. <laughs> roll it up. You got to roll it up and like twist it to like I, make sure it all stays nah, in there. I'll be honest with you. I mean, the only Snickers, thing- uh, Snickers, Starburst has a good return factor though, because you can eat half and don't have to worry that you open the package. Yeah, you know, you can just come back. The only thing that's trash about Starburst is everything's individually wrapped. Yeah, and sometimes that. you can't get it all the way off. Yeah, like you get some it, paper. You get there. some paper. Like I don't want to eat paper. Yeah, but I will. Yeah. <laughs> I've eaten so much paper. Most paper that I've probably eaten has come from Starburst. Yeah. Amongst other things. Yeah. I used to eat some paper back in the day. I used to do that too. Yeah. Like a really good essay. Yeah. I want it to be a part of me forever. Yeah. No, I've eaten corners of paper and, eat, and swallowed it. Oh, yeah. I used to rip off corners all the time. Yeah, and eat them. The, especially like the ones that would... uh, Like, remember when you would rip a piece of paper out of a notebook and it would have like those little scraggly things? Yeah, yeah. I'd eat those. Oh, I've been joking this whole time. You're oh, over here yeah, crushing me, paint. Yeah, me too. Oh, you were joking. Mm-hmm. What's the next one? <laughs> we have the final matchup here. Now this is team. The Ch- final countdown. <laughs> it's gonna end here. In the red corner, two sticks, chocolatey and brown. All right, we crimson have, caramel. We have <laughs> sour patch watermelon. Versus the Twix. Now, let me ask you this. I, I know, already know my answer. Pe- personal guy. Go ahead. I know yours. Let's see. Yours is going to be. I'm not going to tell you what it is. I, I have it in my head. Okay. Uh, so I won't, I won't reveal it, but I know it. <sighs> okay. You say yours first. Do you want to say them at the same time? Yeah. Okay. Three, two, one, say it. Yeah. Okay. Three, two, one, Twix. Twix. Oh, wow. You surprised me. No, Twix, baby. I thought you were more of a sweet guy. I do like sweet. However. However. Too versatile. Okay? It's good when it's when it's at its worst. Yes. I've never you know had a bad saying? Twix in my life. Here's the thing. Easier to eat, too. It's handheld. Yeah. With this, I got to keep digging into a bad bag. And there's shit all in this bag. Yeah, I'm getting I'm getting sugar everywhere. I'm getting these little like pellets of sugar everywhere. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. You gotta do this thing. I gotta do this. I you gotta, gotta do you know the what I'm swipey saying? wipe. Yeah. And then uh, 
It's good when it's frozen. Yeah. So that adds another aspect. A frozen to it. Twix bar? Are you kidding? It's so good. And they're also a suckable candy as well. Oh, they're very suckable. When you suck the chocolate and the caramel off down to the nougat, and then you just, then you can just finish it off with a little bit of nougat in there, get a little crunch yeah, in and there, then you, and then you suck that caramel off the nougat. Do you have a, a pro, like a way you eat a Twix? Yes, I do. How do you do it? I bite the first piece, okay, okay. to open it up. Yeah, just I want to see I the layers. See, I want to see inside you. Yeah. You know. Go ahead. Yeah, sorry. I get emotional, but I I want to see inside you. But sometimes I'll just eat the top, just the caramel. I'll eat the caramel, get the flavor and the suck of the caramel, and then insert the nougat after. See, here's what I like to do. Kind of similar. Okay. Okay. Because I like to bite the first bite too. Because I want to see these layers. I yeah. See yeah. What I'm working I want to. See, I want to see the triple deck. I want to see it. Yeah. Yeah. I want to make sure that it's got all the ingredients that yeah, it needs see, to have. See, see, see. <laughs> So the way I eat a Twix, right? I get that but first bite. I want to see every layer. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? It's just oh, it's so good. Absolutely. And then I'll I'll like suck the caramel off of it, right? And once all the caramel is gone, I take the Twix and then I eat it like a rabbit and I go. <laughs> <laughs> that. I was not expecting that. You eat it with two hands like a rabbit? I mean, it doesn't have to be a two-handed... Thing, Are you like you do this thing? I just go. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, I do that every time. Not every time. Okay, all right, all right. But when so that's a, that's acceptable. When then. you're going through your routine, you know. Oh yeah. When absolutely, <laughs> there are candy routines. When there's an outside pitch, you adjust your gloves. Yeah, for sure, absolutely. Take a step back. <laughs> take a practice swing. I do though. I eat it like. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> or sometimes I'll suck that nougat. Yeah. Suck a noog. It's not bad. You suck it into oblivion because it just oh. like it somehow disappears. You're like, oh my god, I made this this solid into a liquid somehow. <laughs> yeah, and it's with fantastic. my saliva. It's fantastic. Yeah, and also has a cookie factor to it. <laughs> <laughs> Your face. It, it does. Your face when you said that. <laughs> it does. It has a cookie factor to it. Why not? No, it does, man. It just it's just more versatile. You know, man. You I fuck could, with the Twix. Yeah, and, and it, it, listen, no love lost with Sour Patch. Oh, with God. Sour Patch, you know. But it's just like Twix is like top tier. Yeah, it's too you know? good, bro. I would say it's the best candy of all time. Well, it has to be after this. Yeah. I, I mean, you is. can have moods, right? Where you're like, you know what? I want something sweet. So you go for the sweet. Or of you want course. Some sour, so you of go course. For the sour. But in the grand scheme of things. Twix right. is, is always good. Yeah. Like if I was forced to eat a Sour Patch watermelon when I wasn't in the mood for that. Wouldn't love it. I wouldn't love it as much. You know, I probably wouldn't even finish the pack, which is insanity. Right. With a Twix, though, I mean, I'm, I'm here. So, I'm here for it. So fucking true. You have, you have caramel. You have that sweetness. You have the chocolate. And then you have a, a hard, crunchy thing. You're right. Thing. God damn it. God damn it. You're right. That's why Twix wins. All right. And I would just like to say this now and like to address the people out there. Yes. If if you don't like a Twix, fuck you. Yeah. Yeah. I think I think I think that's one hundred percent valid. Fuck anyone who doesn't like a Twix. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Fuck fuck you, man. Also, uh, not a big fan of the single ones though. No, no, no. Please don't mess with something great. Just let it come out. If, Double cake. If it isn't broke. Don't fucking package one of them I by agree. themselves. You I, know? Agree. They're, I agree. They're, they're a dependent candy. Yeah, and I like the, the the snap factor too. You could snap it in half. You could share it. You could share that. Oh, yeah. You know? Sure. You know? Sharing Sour Patch, I'm not going to be pretty willing to share it. The only thing I would give it, it doesn't melt in your hand. Sour Patch. Yeah. But, but come on. I love to suck these fangies. Yeah. Yeah. I'll suck chocolate right off these fingers. Yeah. Munch. Okay. Um, anyway, <laughs> I think uh, I think that's it. We ha that's all we have here. Yeah, I'm, I'm exhausted. Yeah, I'm really tired. To yeah, be honest yeah, with you, I don't yeah. know why. Well, we got it. We got excited. You we know? did. We did. Some things were said. You know, in the in the heat of the moment, there's yeah. passion all over the place. But you know, I'd like to shake your hand. Yeah. You know, I, I think what you said, you had valid points, yeah. and I think this debate is going to push, possibly even propel this 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 country into the next generation. Yeah, it could happen. Yeah. <laughs> I 
I worry about us sometimes. Yeah, you know? me too. I really, I do. I I do really worry about us. Yeah, mostly at night. Yeah, what's gonna happen? What is gonna happen? <laughs> <laughs> what is gonna happen when they let us in? <sighs> what is going to happen? Can't wait. They better let us in. They better. And I'll be a big let me one. in. Let us in. Let, let, let me in. <laughs> Uh, all right. Well, that is all. Danny. Danny e. Lopriori on Instagram and Twitter. Plug. Uh, you guys can uh, follow me on social media at Joe Santagato. And go support the show by heading to patreon.com slash the basement yard. Uh, you get every episode a week early. Why wouldn't you? You at get this point? an extra episode that is only available to patrons. Why wouldn't you at this point? And you also get some bonus Q&A content between me and Danny. Why wouldn't you at this point? It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, and go follow The Basement Yard at The Basement Yard on Instagram. And that is all. See you guys next time. Okay, see you later. <laughs>